Marcos Mandana versus Devon Alexander. Are you guys looking forward to this oh, fight? Oh, yeah, I am. Are Absolutely. you looking forward yeah, to it? That's a good fight. I am in a way, but I, I already think that um, um, Devon Alexander, you've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, pointers for your escapes. The last, <laughs> your, your, last, your last two fights, I don't know, man. I really don't know. Um, they, they were close. Well, he definitely lost they were, Bradley. They were close. The Bradley fight. He, that, he that lost. Was close. Yeah, that, that was, that was, that that was, was a disaster. A disaster. That was disastrous close. decision. Uh, the one with Matisse. Uh, yeah. Matisse. Yeah, he lost that fight. Matisse. 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 I forgot about that. He lost that fight. And then the one before that with the European. That was Andre Katelnik. Andre Katelnik. Who? Devin, I had you. Who? Katelnik. Katelnik. i tell you what. I, I had Cattell, I had um I actually had, I had Devin winning that fight, but mm -hmm. Katelnik, he showed a lot more um, a, resiliency in that fight. Yeah. And he was a fighter, he landed more. Even the scorecard showed that he won the fight. I don't know what the rest were looking at, but hey, it's boxing. Anything can happen. Hey look man, I, I think most people know I'm a fan of the slugger, the bruiser. If it, it I they take a lot of punches, but I tell you what, if they stand in there after eight rounds, nine rounds, ten rounds chasing you down. And you gas, hey man, that's when the real fight starts. Game over, yep. and, 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 and I, I just think that I, I'm not sure about Alexander's chin. We really haven't seen him get hit. I think he's a very strong guy. I think he's a, a pretty decent boxer. I I like my Donna, probably going off of bias, not 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 skill, not strategic, not not strategy. I'm just going with my Donna because, hey man, I, I, I like the kid. I like his attitude. Man. He, he's a real he's a fighter. He, he, he's, love, a fight. he's a fighter. He's a fighter. In Don't your get, face, I'm going to fight you. Mm -hmm. We're going to fight, whatever. Take nothing away from Devin. I love Devin too because Devin is a, Devin, Devin is, is, is a, is a, he's a fighter. He's, he's a, a fighter. He's, he's a good fighter. He, he's, he's a counter punching. Devin can, he, he can box when he want to box and he can fight when he want to fight. But the thing is, Devin... His knockout against Uranga was so great. You, you, it made you believe that this guy's got really potential and power. What happened? But the though? fights after that, yeah, it's happened? like he he tries real hard. You know, no power at 140. He's going up to 147. 147 yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a difference. Let, let, let me say that uh, his fight with with uh, Urango impressed me tremendously. Uh, you know, I, I was really impressed with that. But after that, as Keith said, you know what happened. I'm not real sure that Devin Alexander is this, this, you know, I don't think that he can really punch when he wants to. What I've seen and what I think has been a trend in his career is that he fights like an amateur. I mean, he, he pity yeah, punches. He is. I mean, exactly. he, he boxes. He, he boxes agree. and flurries and, you know, moves around and boxes some more. Like moves American. around. Yeah. I guess, against, exactly, like American. Yeah, I think yeah. against Maidana, you know, I don't think that he, he that uh, that Madonna wins like Keese does. I think that uh, Devin Alexander is going to be able to outbox him as long as he stays away. Keese was talking is about... Is this a 10 or 12 round fight? That's a good question. I'm pretty sure it's... It's got to be a 12 round fight because... Well, actually, there's no, no title. No. There's no title. There's no title because, sure because they're both rounds. moving that up to the That might be a saving grace for this kid. If it's 10 rounds, yeah. You know, Madonna may... They're, they're both moving up to 147. This I, is their first fight at 147. I personally, exactly. I personally think that... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a Chico fan, you know, don't get it twisted. But I personally think that Devin Alexander reminds me of Captain Chunk from The Goonies. Oh my goodness. Now, have you guys ever seen the TV show, I mean, the movie The Goonies? <laughs> the way the guy with the head who's shaped Where like this. You guys? Yeah. That is Devon Alexander. Yeah. He's feather fisted, he pity pats, and Chico's gonna take him out. Let's move on to the next fight. Dallas has the power 140, and it's definitely gonna send.